licensed games kind of died out a couple of generations ago. I mean, yeah, they still exist, but not like how they used to, and mainly because of the quality of those games and how they were rather trash. However, one exception to this was SpongeBob. While there are many SpongeBob games that kind of suck, many are great, including Battle for Bikini Bottom, as that is a childhood favorite for a lot of people. So when SpongeBob Cosmic Shake was announced, I was intrigued, however, it is done by the same developers as the remake, which wasn't received as well. That being said, I am happy to report that Cosmic Shake is a solid 3D platformer that might not be better than Battle for Bikini Bottom, but also feels like a love letter to SpongeBob. So let's talk about it. Hi guys, DPX here, reviewing today SpongeBob Cosmic Shake. Before we get started, you know what to do. Be sure to subscribe and subscribe hit the bell and leave a comment, or I will pollute your house. Alright, I'm not polluting the earth, I'm just gonna pollute your house. Starting off with the good, the game feels nice. Controlling SpongeBob feels smooth and fluent and the platforming, barring some hiccups, is a lot of fun. There are many mechanics that are also really cool like blowing bubbles to trap enemies and using karate are all nice to see, cause a lot of them are callbacks. The story is also very interesting, SpongeBob and Patrick are messing around with these jelly bubble water things that basically pollute the entire bikini bottom. That's why uh, I said I'll pollute your house. And now the two have to fix Bikini Bottom, or really just SpongeBob because Patrick is now a balloon. We also get many references to the memes, which might sound bad, but the way they were done puts it in the good. There are also seven worlds in this game, and while they're all linear, they all either feel like nice callbacks to the show or just very cool to see. We literally got a world where we play as Spongegar, how cool is that? I also really love the bosses and how creative they get. Obviously, many of the bosses are, you know, fight the boss and beat them. But other bosses have you trying to beat a certain objective while avoiding the boss, which I think is really cool. Not unique, but it's still really cool. I will also say visually the game looks great, even though I'll get into the game's technical stuff in a bit, but the visuals are certainly nice looking. It is also worth noting that while I said the worlds and levels are definitely linear, where it has you follow one objective into the next objective and all that, Bikini Bottom is kind of like a hub world that you can roam around in, and I don't know about you, but to me this seems like testing the water for an open world Spongebob game, and seeing how well made Cosmic Shake is, I would like to see Purple Lamp try that. I also really like the appearances from many of the other characters from the show and the game. While Spongebob and Patrick definitely take center stage, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, Sandy, Mrs. Boff, you name it, they're all in the game, and they all have significant roles, too. And they're all mostly voiced by their original voice actors, which is really cool. Even some of, like, the cameos, like the Chocolates guy, is voiced by the same voice actor, which I think is really nice. And as for the music, while I don't think it beats Battle for Bikini Bottom's music, it still captures the energy and feel of Spongebob. Patrick, you, you're glowing! Wh who said that? How do you know my name? It's me, Patrick. I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. I really enjoyed SpongeBob Cosmic Shake, but there are certainly some things I'm mixed on. Not particularly holding it against the game, but things that are either worth noting or things that I wasn't the biggest fan of. For one, it is definitely worth noting that this is a game definitely designed with kids in mind. So while it doesn't necessarily hold your hand, really, it is very easy. And when I die a lot, it's for another reason I'll get into later. Also, the writing from the show is very present in this game, which for the most part 
is good, but I think I speak for most people when I say that the writing in Spongebob more recently is not so good, and this definitely has some modern Spongebob writing. For example, Patrick at times is written exactly like how he is in modern Spongebob, being a nonsensical dumbass. In the original episodes, yeah, he was dumb, but he wasn't this dumb. There are also cutscenes where characters are talking, but they talk into a text box and then you have to press a button to go onto the next line of dialogue. This wouldn't bother me so much if the game gave you an option to auto advance the dialogue like in a lot of RPGs, but I look through the game's settings and unless I missed it, there is no such option. Similarly, when you unlock a new mechanic, it shows you a little tutorial on how to use it, and while that is definitely useful, they just linger on for maybe three to even five seconds too long. As for the characters, you only get to play as Spongebob. Not a major problem for me, which is why it's under the mixed segment, but it would have been cool to play as some of the other characters, especially since they're all in here. Lastly, while I really like the mechanics in this game, there is this one mechanic that gets introduced in the very last world of the game, but that mechanic is crucial for beating the rest of the game pretty much. That's not really that bad, but I just find it weird how you get introduced to all these cool new mechanics throughout the game, but none of them matter because by the end of the game, you get this new ability and that's how you beat the final boss. I'm not saying they can't introduce a new ability and have that be the way you beat a boss, but it's just weird to me to have that at the very end of the game, if you know what I mean. Look at me go! As for the bad, SpongeBob Cosmic Shake definitely needed more time to cook. While the game is at a state where it is certainly playable and not completely like laughable. There are some notable texture pop-ins, some assets taking a little long to load, there are some glitches, some dialogue and sound get cut off, the game will f sometimes freeze like it's about to crash but then unfreeze and not crash, and only once the game crashed on me. Only once though. To be fair, this game did arrive two days early for me, so I did play a good chunk of it before it was patched, but I encountered some of this stuff before that. Additionally, the AI are kind of dumb. There will be instances where you can leave an enemy's direct line of sight, and that's somehow enough for the AI to forget you are there. And there are certain times where I jump and I miss the platform I'm jumping to, which I really should have made it, you know what I mean? Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea! Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse, and he definitely has a book or two that'll help Squidward. While definitely not perfect, SpongeBob Cosmic Shake is a worthy follow-up to Battle for Bikini Bottom. And as a fan of SpongeBob who hasn't really watched it recently, this game honestly took me back to those older episodes. While the game is very easy, rough around the edges, and the game definitely lingers on things a little longer than it should, the gameplay, story, mechanics, bosses, and much more make this a worthy only $40 for fans of Spongebob and maybe even fans of 3D platformers, and might even lay the foundation for an open world Spongebob game, which I'll be totally down to see. That being said, I give Spongebob Cosmic Shake an 8 out of 10. Some of you might think that's kind of high considering a lot of the mixed stuff I said about the game, and I did say more mixed stuff than good stuff, but remember, the mixed stuff is mixed, and the good stuff, th this was just a very fun game to play, and it was a delight. That's my review for Spongebob Cosmic Shake. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have the game? Do you not have the game? And if you don't have the game, do you want the game? Do you not want the game? Anything about the game, let me know down below. Anyways, be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, or I will pollute your house. Bye!